Who's got a question for Dr. Carr? Mm. Got a question over here. Hi, my name's Nikki. I was wondering how would you define infinity? Oh! oh. <laughs> the old Cantor's vectorization theorem, yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, we might start a bit simpler than that. <laughs> um, it is confusing to think of infinity as a number. It's not a number in the way that 7 or 11 is a number. It's a measure of things. Infinity means bigger than any individual number. It means something that is infinite. The really cool thing about infinity is this. Some infinities are bigger than others. <laughs> I'll give you a second while you're thinking, Adam's on the weird stuff. It's true. <laughs> Let me give you an example. The counting numbers, one, two, three, four. You could write a list of all of them, yes? The uh, integers, the, the whole numbers. Yes. Yeah, all the way up. To... And I could say, well, prove to be that the number seven is on. You could find any number on that list. Yes. But if I wrote down the list of decimals... Ah. I can't write every number on that list. You show me your list of decimals, I can find a number that's not on that list. Ah. So, the counting numbers are countably infinite. The decimals are uncountably infinite. It's a bigger infinity. If that's worrying you slightly, <laughs> two of the greatest mathematicians of the 20th century, Cantor and Gödel, both considered the size of infinities, or what's called the continuum hypothesis, and they both went mad. <laughs> so, think about my answer, but not too hard. <laughs>